What is Galaxy? Well, Galaxy is a software. This software can be used to create powerful data analysis portals, such as the three main worldwide instances shown in this slide. There are many more regional or specialized Galaxy instances, for example, in Europe. Galaxy is used a lot. The US instance, for example, has over 10,000 active users. It runs millions of jobs each year. Importantly, Galaxy contains thousands of open source tools. The chances are that the tool that you might want is probably already wrapped and is present in all of these three instances. The worldwide instances are free and supported by public computational infrastructure. In US, it is Exceed, a framework that ties together large supercomputing centers. In Europe, it's Denby and Elixir, and also regional computational infrastructure. In Australia, it is the Nectar Research Cloud. The three instances share common reference data and tools via this uh, worldwide network. So that should give you a rough idea what this is. It's a software. The software is used to create portals, and these portals allow you to analyze large biological data sets for free using public computational infrastructure. So let's see what Galaxy really is. Well, first, pick a Galaxy closest to you. Since I'm in the US, I'm going to be using usegalaxy.org. But if you're in Europe or in Australia, pick a corresponding instance. Next, you will need to log in or create an account. I'm already logged in. As you can see here, a Galaxy interface contains three panes, or columns, if you will. The left column contains all the tools for this particular instance. The center panel will contain interfaces of these tools. For example, let's look at the interface of FastP, a tool for uh, quality control of sequencing data sets. So you can see interface here. Finally, the right panel is the history panel or history pane. This is where all the data sets are and all the results of the analysis we are going to run will be. Right now it has two data sets. We can expand them to see what they are. These are FastQ data sets from Illumina Machine for one sample. In this case, it's called S5. And there are forward and reverse reads here. There is also the header. The header allows you to switch between analysis view, workflow view, allows you to access visualizations, share data, find help, and uh, manage your preferences. Well, let's do something. So since we already have fast P uh, here, let's do quality control of these two data sets. I'm going to select paired because this is paired data. My first data set will be the forward read because it's dash F. My second data sets will be reverse read because it's dash R. And for everything else, I will, let's change one option. Let's go here to output and set output JSON to yes. And let's click execute. Clicking execute causes Galaxy to actually start the analysis jobs. In this case, it's running fast P. It uses these two green data sets as inputs and it just scheduled four jobs, which will continue uh, until they finish. And here you can see that these jobs are done. This single job generated four different data sets. Two of them are outputs of fast P, forward and reverse reads. And the other two data sets is just summary statistics. For example, let's look at this HTML file. And in order to do that, I'm going to click on view data. And you can see that this is another use for the center pane. It also display things, displays data, which is present in the history panel. Now, um, the ultimate goal here is to map these data sets against the genome. So let's do that. But in my history here, I don't have any genome. I only have uh, my reads. So let's upload something. And for that, we can click on Upload Data. And these are this is the data set I want to, this is the genome I want to use. So like that. 
and it's in FASTA format. Okay, here it is, yet another data set in a history. Now we have our reads, we have our genome, let's map it. Let's map reads to this genome. We're going to use a tool called BWA. I will use search tools box to find it. Here it is. We're going to use BWA mem. When you map reads, you map them against genome. And that genome can either be already pre-cached at the Galaxy instance. We cache a lot of genomes locally. Or as the case here, it can be just uploaded as a file and then used to map against. In order to do this, I'm just going to change use a built-in genome index to use a genome from history. And you can see that it will automatically find a FASTA file, which is our data set number seven. Um, so the reads, we are going to be uh, using reads which were processed by FASTP. So as a forward read, I'm going to use this data set because it's a processed version of data set one. And for reverse, I'm going to use four because it is the processed version of data set two. I'm not going to change any other parameters, just going to click execute. So we'll let BWEMM run for a while. So you can see that you have your inputs and uh, outputs of all analysis steps are here as well as the final result, whatever it might be. So at the end of the day, your entire analysis will be in history with all intermediate data sets, which is why analysis done in Galaxy are reproducible. You save all the steps, you save all the parameters you used at each of the steps. What else can you do with this history? Well, let's extract a workflow. So I will click on COG, select Extract Workflow. The central pane then shows all the steps from the history because we want to include all of them, we're not going to modify anything. I'm just going to rename this workflow, as, I don't know, workflow one, for example, and click create. We can now edit it. So you can see that these are our inputs, two inputs, right? This is our genome. Let's, let's expand the space a little bit. This is fast. This is fast P that we ran, and this is BWA, which uses also genome as the input. So you can see how you can build your analysis this way. Let's add one tool at the end of BWA mem. For example, a tool that would sort, um, that would filter BAM datasets. So all we need to do is find the tool in the tool pane, click on it, and it will appear as the box. And we can now connect sets like that and build our workflow. Well, let's um, save this and go back to analyze data. So this should give you a view, a very basic view of what Galaxy does. You can upload data sets, you can apply a lot of tools to these data sets, and uh, in your history is complete record of your analysis with the last data set being your result. So Galaxy is really good for heavy lifting, taking a lot of large data sets, for example, hundreds or thousands of FASTQ files, mapping them, filtering, doing whatever you need to do, and uh, eventually distilling your data to a small table or something that you can analyze further. And for this analysis, Galaxy also offers a number of tools. For example, um, there are interactive tools such as Jupyter Notebooks, which you can start directly from inside Galaxy. There is truly an endless possibilities here for any kinds of analysis of biological and not necessarily biological data.